Well, it has been called by some the double pandemic, domestic violence during COVID. Since mid-March, when the stay-at-home orders began, local shelters have been busier than ever. And now, as people begin to leave and start new lives, they need your help. And your side, Stephanie Harris is here now with how shelters are calling for things that you may already be trying to get rid of, Stephanie. Well, Tom, I don't know about you, but I've been doing some closet cleaning and decluttering during the COVID pandemic. And a lot of that stuff could really help women who are moving into a new place with little or nothing to their names. It's just been a whole different world in the shelter environment right now. Help and Emergency Response, HER, operates three shelters in Portsmouth and Chesapeake. We are full at two of our shelters. We are placing everybody else in hotels. This shelter is intentionally empty right now in case they get a client with COVID. The pandemic has put them in uncharted territory. Unfortunately, we did have to stop taking donations in the middle of March due to the pandemic, um, which has been a big hit to us because our um, clients do rely on those kind of things. But now they're ready to start taking all the stuff you've been cleaning out of your attics and closets. And we need anything that somebody would need to start over in a new apartment. Some of their clients escape their abuser with only the clothes on their back, and many have children in tow. It's so overwhelming when you move out to begin with, and people don't think about the fact that there's so many little things that you need to get started in an apartment. Bedding, towels, household appliances, clothes, and toys, they need it all. And you can drop it off here all next week. Central Baptist Church on Hodges Ferry Road in Portsmouth will take donations June 22nd through the 25th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Then those currently in the shelter and recent clients will get to come in first and scoop up what they need. And then we're going to go ahead and have a yard sale with anything that's left over as a fundraiser for the shelter. Making your trash a true treasure for victims on their way to victory. And if you or someone you know needs help escaping an abuser, or if you want to hear again how you can help, I put that information with this story on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.